didn't know what was going to happen, you know, as far as the event with us, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, and I wasn't even sure, like, how, you know, how long they were going to have the strip shut, because obviously that's a big part of our business is the tourism, you know, so I didn't know even how many people were going to make it today. And so, yeah, it's, but we're here. We have a Lamborghini and a racetrack. Take your mind off the world for a little while, at least. Uh, so Mark and Lindahl, we're doing five laps in Lamborghini Huracan. Yeah, my name's David, in case you forgot. A few things before we head out here. Uh, just, just like last time, you know, mirrors are all for me. You focus on driving, I'll worry about everybody else on track. If anybody comes behind you, I'll let you know. Foot off the throttle so they can pass you quickly. When you start catching people, my hand's on the wheel, but just safety. You're in control. Don't let go. Um, get close to the guys who knows you're faster. I'll tell you pass right, pass left. It's one place we don't pass this track. Uh, you said we're doing automatic. That's so what that means for us. We're going to get on track, get to a good amount of speed, double orange cones in the braking zones, just smooth and firm. The faster you're going, the more you brake, just be smooth with the motion. Uh, you'll come to that single green cone that's your turn in. Very important as you're turning in, you're slowly releasing that brake pedal, letting the weight of the car just ease back flat, give you grip on all four wheels. Um, as you turn, really focus on hitting those apexes, you know, touch those red and white lines every time the curve. As soon as you do and you can start to straighten back out, that's when you start to accelerate. As long as you're turning, just be patient. Um, you know, in theory, I'll have you turning about the fastest car can take, and the throttle's gonna exceed that limit. Um, like I said, it, it's still just a car. Engine, four wheels, you know, physics are exactly the same. Uh, it's still just a tool that you're in control of. Just, you know, keep yourself smooth. If you have nice, good inputs, you get nice, good outputs. Um, so just keep this car smooth. This one's there. Um, the best piece of advice with that, because you, you said you're doing three cars today, you got a, you got a few to do. And you are done this once, you know, you're, you're going to keep getting faster every time. That's why the sport's fun. Um, just keep your eyes ahead of yourself. That also what makes this car a little tricky is our visibility is not that great. It's very small windows. Um, so you have to be a little more proactive. Really kind of lose your neck, look around, look where you want to go, and you'll, you'll keep getting there. Um, did you have any questions, concerns, worries, issues? Things that bugged you last time, anything like that? We'll just take it as we go. You know. Gotcha. And, and same thing. First lap, I'll, I'll go through every inch. Um, after that, you know, I'll see what I can help us with, what we can get faster, what we can correct, um, anything like that. And, and then, yeah, if you have questions, just holler them out. Um, let's see. So I'm gonna put this one back. Uh, not that it makes the biggest difference in that car. That rear windshield doesn't really do anything. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> when you are ready, foot on the brake. Drive. We are in auto. Good. Uh, we can start just kind of pull straight out. Your wheel's going to be turned a little bit right. Yes, yeah, so crank it left. So you see, just very sensitive pedals, brake. It's all very sharp, which is good. Your full stop right at this white line. It does have a lot of. Yeah, stop here. So again, just butter smooth. There's no rush. You know, it, everything just roll down into it. Because um, it's, it's just. That's why it's a fast car. It's just super, super responsive. Um, so, you know, if you ask for it, you get it. But just, you know, know what you're asking of it. Uh, we got a, actually that Ferrari coming right now. And I'll probably put a GTR too. When this red car passes nice and smooth, start pulling onto that single green cone. Just straight on out. Start looking in, turn into the left. That single green cone, head straight towards it, close get to it, the better. Straight line, lift off the throttle, just steer. We'll brake next time, we've still got pretty good speed. Look out to your exit, use the track all the way out the left-hand side, smooth on that throttle. Let it build up, just keep it on the left-hand side all the way down. Orange cones will start to brake, and brake smooth and consistent. Just one nice pressure all the way to the single green. Look in, start turning in, and release that throttle. Just steering, you find that apex, look up to your exit, just squeeze back into that throttle. Use all that track. Keep on the left all the way down, take a big breath. Look through the corner coming and brake. Smooth and straight. Stay left edge. Now look in, slowly release your turn in. If you're still popping your foot off a little bit, try to have one nice lift off that brake pedal. Stay to the right, just lift off the throttle, look in and start steering. The effects on the left, good. At the top of the hill, come halfway out and start to accelerate down. Use a little more track through there, just give you a little more space. Now brake smooth. Eyes in, slowly release. Try not to lose so much speed initially. It's making you want to come back on the throttle, which is pushing down the line. So try and carry that brake pressure in. It's lighter for longer. Light brakes, ease off and turn in. Perfect. Squeeze that throttle straight. And then just lift off the throttle. Perfect speed. Just balance it to the right. 
patience here at your apex. Look out your exit, see how much room you have, and use all the track. Very good. Let's do it again. Stay on that left edge. Give yourself all the track you can out here. March cold, start to break. Stay left, start slowly releasing that brake pedal. Just focus on carrying that momentum. Look up to your exit, start squeezing into that throttle all the way up that left edge. Scan the corner coming up. Remember how tight this one is. Again, lighter for longer. Just break smooth. Don't shave off all the speed right away. Look in and ease it back off. Keep turning. One nice motion with your hands. Look up. Get one end up. Smooth throttle. Green coat over the hill. Just lift off throttle. No brakes. No brakes. Just steering. Just steering. Perfect. Keep turning and patience. Halfway out and accelerate. Very good. Keep going. Stay left edge. Light brakes. Smooth. Eyes and ease off. So you feel you have really good brakes. We can always brake harder. But if we brake too early, again, just throwing you really far out of this corner. Just running out of real estate. So lift off the throttle, look in, just be smooth. Take your time, accelerate straight. Stay wide, take all the time. It's all the tracks for you. Look in, find your apex. Good. Look out to that exit. Start to unwind and accelerate.
glad this was first. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you see, she's a she's a big girl, a little more of an animal than uh, some of the stuff here. And there's there's pros to that. You know, with more weight, you do get more grip. Um, you know, you are a little more planted. Um, you get a bigger motor. Yeah, right. Turn to your right, and then all the way down uh, next to the, the black one, yeah, right, number sixteen. Uh, but you saw it's just. You know, it's a little more to move around. It's a, it's a little more touchy when you start start getting into it. Um, uh, what, which car are you driving next? Uh, McLaren. McLaren. So you're gonna put this in park. And just spin this to the right, and you're set. Um, so uh, the tips of the McLaren. The McLaren is the polar opposite. <laughs> the McLaren is super super lightweight. Um, so it's just it just wants the whole car just gonna dance around. A um, it's still very manageable because if you know if you make a mistake if something doesn't feel right um, It's much easier to recover a smaller car. Um, so you have a little more confidence going in But again, it just becomes just important staying super fluid with all your movements Because that little weight, you know if you're that little bit shaky or a little bit hesitant on our brake or a throttle It just really is gonna make that car move on you. So the smoother you can stay the more planted the car is gonna feel that the more confident you're gonna be as you keep doing You know lap after lap after lap um, and that kind of becomes the challenge, you know. The more you do it, you know, the track's the same, the line's the same. Um, it's just letting yourself, you know, trying not to get complacent, um, so you can, you know, keep pushing and you know, stay ahead of these cars. Um, second piece of advice for you, because now the McLaren lighter car, but it's the same thing. All the weight's behind it. So the front end of that car is very light. So you had a few really nice ones. With that idea of just breaking that a little bit lighter, but breaking for longer. You yeah, know, it was hard to stay break. consistent in this. Thing. Yes. Yes. Very hard. Um, and, and again, with something this sensitive, you know, you're doing well, it's just, if you're even off by a little bit, it's just more accentuated. You Correct. Know? So it it's just, a, yeah. yeah. It, it, it exaggerated every problem that you created. Yeah. Um, which is not a bad, like, and if you can learn from it, if you can say, oh, I guess I am being a little too quick here, or I am turning a little too fast, yeah. you know, then it's, it can be a good tool for when you get in a car that, you know, is a little easier to drive. Because then if you fix the mistakes and get the car, then that car is just going to be a dream. So. You know, just always remember if something doesn't feel right, the, the car is just the car. You know, but if you can make the adjustment, if you can say, well, I'm jumping that little bit, just smooth pressure a little more there, or, you know, I, I'm thinking I'm going too fast for this turn, either I need to slow down more initially, or I need to really, like, really look through it and see, no, it's a, I got a lot of space out here, you know. Um, just, just keep making adjustments for yourself um, to, to try and make the car feel better. Because you're doing very well. I mean, like I said, this. This are, car you, are you going to be with me in all these? Um, or, or? I, I genuinely don't know. Um, I don't know yet. I, I hadn't, I've been warming up, so I haven't even walked in yet. Um, you are certainly, uh, you know, we usually kind of share the love and, and have people kind of spread around and just different different eyes on any different opinions. Um, you're certainly welcome to request me. Uh, sometimes you just a little longer wait, um, depending on where they have to put me. Um, but either way, I'm going to get this USB to you. You'll take it inside, let them know. End of the day, after all your cars, everything else you're doing, just make sure this gets to the front for your ID and speeds and lap times. Um, any other last minute questions for me? Thank you, sir. Thank you. My pleasure. Let me power